I've said before, K-pop is like a fungus. It just grows on you and you have no, you, have, you don't have a choice in the matter. Like when you hear it and you hear good stuff, you know, you're done for. You just, you're just done for. Why? Why? Why do people love stray kids? I think I've figured it out. Yeah, I figured it out. They just make good music for everyone. Doesn't matter your age, doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. There's something about the stuff they make that just applies to absolutely everyone. And I say, say I might be being a bit, uh, jumping the gun a bit might be, be right. But I think Stray Kids slyly, slyly, not like overtly, but slyly might be like getting to that BTS level for me. Honestly, I've liked every song I've heard of theirs, bar one. And even then it was fine. It just didn't really hit me. I think there was a point to it and it didn't really make me grip to it and, and feel for it. And that was Astronaut. But other than that one song and that one MV, I have loved every single Stray Kids song. And yes, there isn't one BTS song I haven't loved. So I guess that there's there's that and there's that that, that BTS might have of Stray Kids. But Stray Kids fit that similar mold of BTS, which I don't think has been done in the K-pop industry for a very long time or ever. Um, they just have such a wide variety of music and some people like them for this type of music, some people like them for the other and some people like them for different. So, I mean, the fact they're so versatile and they can make ab absolute bangers, like they have such a, a big banger list, like my pace. My first song I heard of theirs, and it's an absolute killer. I put that on whenever, and I'm just jumping, and I'm going, and I'm rearing to do whatever it takes to do what I need to do. Uh, Boxer. I mean, have you heard that song? It just makes you want to go. TMT. <laughs> I wasn't expecting these songs to be good. That's the thing. I never expect music to be good because so much of it is shit. But with these guys, they just keep on making good stuff. Side effects as well absolute banger and those are just the bangers then they have like the deep heavy shit like mia 19 uh what was the other one gone days this is stuff which like you read it and you absorb it and you marinate with it and you're like damn damn that hit me that really really did get me um so they have the bangers then they have the deep stuff and then out of nowhere they come out with like a light-hearted fun music Stuff like what well, Awkward Silence. One of my favourite tunes of theirs is Awkward Silence. I don't know why. Maybe it just applies again to absolutely everyone. But that song can just get in your head and not leave you for days and days and days once you put it on. It's a dangerous one. It's one of those. You know, like, uh, uh, what was it? It was Shiny back in the day with Ring Ding Dong. I feel for me, Awkward Silence is like the Ring Ding Dong for me. Uh, it, at this moment in time, like it just sets me off and it just will stay there. It's it's crazy how, how it just has that sticking power. Uh, then there's Get Cool, which is also just so good and lighthearted and fun, which is not an easy thing to do with, with music nowadays. Sometimes there always has to be either some political message to music or there's like some nonsense about all these things which are not necessary to make good music, but in rap specifically and other types of uh, genres of music, there's a particular tone to them and I just don't like a lot of it. Even in general pop now, it's just nonsense. It's just absolute nonsense. Uh, but then they have Question. Question as well. No one, no one would have walked into that song. Street MV, I think that was, uh, I think it was, being like, this is gonna be a good song. And you walk out of it and you're just like, I just had a good time. I just enjoyed that. And the song was actually good. And I think the reason why Stray Kids, in my opinion, in my humble, very unknowing opinion, are probably gonna be one of the biggest bands in the world in the next three to four years is because one, they make good music, two, they make meaning meaningful music, and three, they just seem like good guys. They just seem like they're having a troll of a time and enjoying themselves. And whenever you do see them on uh, MCs or whenever you see them on like variety shows and stuff like that, their personalities do come through. They seem like they're just enjoying it and sucking it all up and just being like, I'm here, like that's it. It is sad that Wujin did leave and, and that's a 
thing which probably a lot of them struggled with, uh, with him leaving the group, but you know, you have to do what's best for you as well at the end of the day. And I think that in itself, I think that showed them and JYP in a very positive light. The fact that, you know, they, that he was allowed to leave without any seeming repercussions. And I think 10 years ago, that probably wouldn't have happened in K-pop in general. So I'm glad to see that stuff has moved on and, and, people are respected for being who they are and if they don't want to do it they don't want to do it if they want to do it then they have all the chance to be able to make it to to these levels uh but yeah the reason why stray kids are so loved and people love stray kids is for a simple fact and i'll re restate it restate restate it i'll state it one more time they just make good music and if you can do that then uh you're already basically there. So I'm calling it, I'm calling Stray Kids being as big as BTS worldwide so long as, you know, they do stay together. It's a big group of people, obviously. There were nine of them. Now there's eight of them. It's still a big, big group of people and, you know, people butt heads and, and collide with each other, but then it's about working it out. And I think these lads are probably going to do it. Yeah. Right now, my overall rankings, BTS twice, Stray Kids, Blackpink. No, Stray Kids, Red Velvet. Got seven, Blackpink. Ooh, but then there's Super Junior. Ah. I don't know. I don't know what my rankings are, but they're up there. Stray Kids are killing it. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, because just listen to one of their tracks and you will be hooked. I'm telling you. I've said before, K-pop is like a fungus. It just grows on you, and you have no, you, have, you don't have a choice in the matter. Like, when you hear it and you hear good stuff, you know, you're done for. You just, you're just done for. So, Stray Kids, lads, keep on doing what you're doing because you're making good shit and I like good shit. Well, we'll come to that soon. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, it doesn't matter. But I would implore you to, to subscribe, though. That would be really, really great. Yeah. Subscribe. Meh. Okay. Anyway. I've been Narendra the Comic, you've been great, and I'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. Yes, I'll come back to this. Say it every day, but I'm going to say it every day until we get there. Been making a video every day. A video every day for 700, 700-ish days. A lot of days. Yeah. But we're not stopping. Not stopping until we get to 10,000 subscribers to so subscribe. That would be really great. I say this thing now. Stay safe. Stay inside. Subscribe. Stay safe. Primarily, you know, we've got this shit going on. You need to stay safe. Stay inside. That would help you stay safe because that way you're not going to get ill because you're staying safe inside. Stay safe, stay inside and subscribe. Most importantly, obviously, most importantly are those three things. <laughs> subscribe. Yeah, but I'll, I'll see you tomorrow because I will be back again with some more quality shitty content because I'm always here every day and the content is regularly, very regularly shitty but in like that quality type of way. It brought it back to the shit. So I'll see you tomorrow because your boy's gonna be here because your lad's always here. See you tomorrow. I have nowhere else to be. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs> for, for sure, for sure, 100%. See you tomorrow, unless internet's down. You never know, it is getting bad with the speeds. But in all likelihood, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm just longing this out. See you tomorrow. <laughs> see, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Skadoosh.